Hey guys, it's Maggie, and today I thought I would do something different. As you can see, I'm behind the camera because today I'm doing my bookshelf tour. I haven't done a bookshelf tour since I got these shelves like a year and a half ago. So we are just going to get started and I'm just going to show you what I have. Some of my favorite books aren't even here because they're at school with me. But today is my last day of winter break, so I thought I would just do a quick bookshelf tour. So let's just get started. So we're going to start up here with these books and I'm also going to try to talk about like how I organize them and stuff just because I figured that would be easier than explaining every single book on my shelf. So up here I have my trilogies. Um, so I have The Matched Trilogy by Alec Condi, Divergent by Veronica Roth, Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, um, Miss Peregrine's by Ransom Briggs, which as you can see, Library of Souls is at school with me, so it's not here. I also have my Emma Bloom Funko Pop up here. And then for Hunger Games, I have my Merida Funko Pop, just because I thought it'd be fitting. Then I have the Article 5 Trilogy by Kristen Simmons, and the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. And then going over a shelf, I still have trilogies, so these are more of like, I don't really know, these aren't really sorted in any way. So I have the first two books in the Uglies trilogies by Scott Westerfield, Shatter Me by um, Mahed Amafi. This is my favorite trilogy of all time, The Fifth Wave by Rachel Massey, so I had to show it off. And then I have the Maze Runner books by James Dashner, and then a TARDIS, which actually is a TARDIS cookie jar, and the 11th Doctor Funko Pop. So then going down another shelf, I have my Rick Riordan books. So these are the first five books in the Percy Jackson series, and then we move into the Heroes of Olympus series, and then we, I started my Trials of Apollo series, and then I have the King Chronicles randomly here. I haven't even read these, but whatever. And then I have um, Percy Jackson, The Demigod Files, and what's this? The Ultimate Guide to Percy Jackson. These are very old books. And then I have a cup of Smarties, and I don't even like Smarties, so those are just there. And this shelf, which is right below Fifth Wave, is my Cassandra Clare shelf. So basically I have these all in order. I have the Infernal Devices trilogy, the Mortal Instruments series, which is all these, uh, Bane Chronicles, which the light's kind of glaring so you can't really see it well, and then Lady Midnight, and then Lord of Shadows will go right here. I'm gonna move this thing to somewhere else. And then I have the Shadowhunters Codex up here. So this is all of Cassandra Clare. Hopefully all of them fit here. They probably won't, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So then moving over here, these are my contemporaries, and as you can see, I am missing a few, such as Fangirl, because Fangirl is usually right here, but it's at school with me. So, I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I put all those together. Then I put the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy all together. Then I have Rainbow Rowell's books right here, and usually Fangirl's up in here too. Then I have The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, which is my favorite book of last year. Unremembered by Cheska Brody. I don't even know if that's a contemporary, but I put it there. And then Brooks Being Wallflower, and that's some Jenny Han books. And then If I Stay by Gail Foreman, which translates over here. Then I also have my Ariel Funko Pop, my Anna, and Olaf Funko Pops. So then over here, it's more contemporary. I have, what is this? Two Girls Staring at the Ceiling which I got, I think, on Book Outlet for pretty cheap. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I'm just random more contemporaries. I'm not going to go into these all. If you want to ask me in the comments, I'll let you know what book it is. But I feel like most of these are self-explanatory. These are mostly stand- these are all standalones. And then I have my Cat Patrick books right here. Um, some more books over here. Meet Girl and the Dying Girl, blah, blah, blah. Then I have my fangirl necklace that a friend got for me got me for Christmas like a million like years ago. I don't even remember when. I have my Hawkeye and Captain America Marvel bobbleheads. Then I have Sirius Black and Dumbledore chilling up here. This is where things start to get a little complicated. So I have Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes and I have space for Crystal Storm which I don't have yet. Then I have um, Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Though I was not a big fan of Empire Storms for many reasons. I like the cover, so I have it up here. And then I have um, the Ecotar series by Sarah J Maas, and then my Ray Bobblehead Funko Pop. Then over here I have my TBR jar for 2017, which I talked about in my goals video. Um, um, the Ember, an Ember in the Ashes series by Sabata here. Um, 
what is this? Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. These two should be switched technically because Cool Crown goes over here and then Selection goes over here with my Selection series by Kiara Kess. And then I have my Marissa Meyer section which is this Lunar Chronicles and Heartless which Lindsay and I just started a live show yesterday for. And my Sadness Funko Pop. Okay, so moving down here, if it gets a little rocky, because I want to rock my rocking chair. These are just books that aren't really set as anything. I just kind of have them here. If I turn this light on, I don't even think it helps. So I have Salt to the Seas, which um, actually has become really popular on Bookstagram, so I really want to read that. And then I have just a bunch of random books I've collected over the years. I used to read the Chronicles of Nick series in high school, but there's too many. I can't keep up. This is a photo of my dad who passed away when I was nine, so I always keep him on my bookshelf. Um, he's doing what he loves, cooking. <laughs> um, I have the last book of this trilogy, Let the Sky Fall, at school. It's Brandon Sanderson, and then I think these like are kind of sci-fi books. And then over here, this is Jorge, my monkey that I named when I was really little. I have And I Darken by Kirsten White, the Wrath and the Dawn trilogy, not trilogy, duology, sorry. Um, the Winter Kill Trilogy, all of my Lee Gart Bardugo books, which include Six of, this is Six of Crows, and the Grisha Trilogy, Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris, which is actually a very good trilogy, and then the Raven Boys series, and An Empty Water Bottle, and then I have Captain Hook, Draco, and Luna, and then now this gets really complicated because I don't think I can do this. Okay, these are dystopian-ish books, dystopian-ish, meaning like half dystopian, half sci-fi, depending on what it is. So as you can see, I put all of my dystopian books here, and I put Prophecy and Guardian by Alex London. I think that's more sci-fi, actually, but it's a duology, so I put it together along with my Reboot and Rebel duology over here. Why am I saying everything is a trilogy? I don't even know. So that's what I did with that shelf. I'm not going to go into it, but like, yeah, those are all those books. And then over here ooh, is more sci-fi. I'm going to fall off this chair. So I have... Illuminae and Gemina, which are amazing, and then as you can see, I have a lot of space because I'm planning on expanding my sci-fi books. Under the Comb, Under the Comb, Under the Dome by Stephen King. Across the Universe, These Broken Stars, you know, Zodiac and Wandering Star. Most of these because I need two more books for this trilogy. One more book for, yeah, two more books for this one, one more book for this one, which is why. And then I have some arcs up here that I got at VidCon 2015, which I still haven't read and they came out a year ago. But you know, that's fine. I have Loki, my Loki bobblehead. Oh my god. It's okay, he's alive. We're good. And then I have my Cass with wings, and he's adorable. Okay. Over here is very random books. As you can see, there's a Susie Orman book. I don't even read that. I think it's my grandma's. That's just been put in here over time. These are all my classics, my Pride and Prejudice, special edition over there, Little House on the Prairie, Ernest Hemingway, it just goes down into Narnia. And then some chicken soup for the soul, some books about grief, and then The Last Princess, which I guess is my book. <laughs> so these are just random books over here. These are even more random books that I just have lying around over here. The Savage Song is over here because I just don't have a place for it yet. I have The Minds where James Dashner is here, Winner's Curse, a lot of things. And so this is my Chris Colfer Land of Stories book. I was actually thinking about giving this to my little cousins for Christmas. But when I read the fairy tales, I realized they weren't the Disney editions. Like little, like Ariel got turned into sea foam, Hansel and Gretel got eaten, and I realized I should not give that to a six and four year old. So there you go. Maybe when they're older. <laughs> so I have owls, which are my favorite animal. My mini Hulk bobblehead. My cat, my Civil War zoom zooms, which I usually have facing each other because dramatic. And then my I don't even know what these are. <laughs> and then my Peter Pan crocodile. My Marvel book, which is my Marvel encyclopedia. Over here is a stuffed animal and a million, million books I used to read as a kid. So these are the Warriors books, and then other books like a, that I've just been put in here. Phone charger, it's just the bottom gets a mess. This is my first Harry Potter shelf. I have the my newest edition of the books, plus Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Cruise Through the Ages, and Tales of Beetle the Bard. Scabbers, chills up here. <laughs> um, I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and the Fantastic Beast screenplay, plus my time turner, which should technically be on Cursed Child or, oh no, Prisoner of Man, but okay, Harry hates me. <laughs> Divination Ball, Hermione, Harry, and Ron. Over here are my originals of the books. As you can see, I have some copies in the back of extra books, like a million, but these are my originals. Um, 
I got obviously this one. I started really reading. I caught up to the books, I think, finally when Half Blood Prince was coming out because I was four when I started reading this one. So by the time I got through everything, it took a couple years. I started getting them in hardback because that's when they were coming out. And I don't have the hardback cover um, for Half Blood Prince after all these years, but that's okay. So this is my original Deathly Hallows, which I lost for years. And I think, yep, no, that's my original Deathly Hallows back there, which I should pull out and put here, but I that one has the book jacket, so I usually keep that there. Okay, but my paperback books are very old, and sometimes I get scared they're gonna rip, so I don't ever lend them to people <laughs> or read these copies anymore. I go straight for these because it's not even, yeah, my original originals are like, broken like way back here so sometimes I put the newer copies out here I have like five copies of the books but you know you get used to it here I have my illustrated edition of what's out so far a Christmas bow for some reason my um that's a bookmark <laughs> my Hedwig which I actually named Seamus <laughs> he's adorable my Hufflepuff bear and my actual Hedwig back there then up here this is my last shelf while I have Buckbeak over there so this is Weasley Twins, a bracelet, page to screen, and film wizardry, and then over here I have the entertainment magazine when WLS Part 2 came out, coloring books, poster books, who knows what, oh my gosh, everyone's falling. I have three, four wands, I have this really cheap one I got at Barnes Noble when I was a kid, the Elder Wand, Hermione, and Fleur, I think, are my wands, I don't really know, plus an Ollivander's bag, chocolate frog, the Rememberall. I swear. And then my pick me puff, which is named, oh no, Stan? Stan, Stan, that's Stan, my pick me puff. So that's my bookshelf. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I know it's very messy, but yeah, that's what I got so far and my collection will keep on growing. So I'll probably update you guys again next year. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.